Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we have Krish here with us, who has been recently placed at Genpact as a part of his campus placements at VIT. So Genpact is a super dream company in VIT, and we have Krish here to share his interview experience with us. Before we talk to him, let's look at the eligibility criteria. So all BTEC students were eligible provided they had a CGP of six or sixty percent in tenth and twelfth in the pursuing degree and. in undergrad if the student is pursuing his post graduation and no standing audit now let's talk to krish so hi krish firstly welcome to my channel and congratulations on your placement hello thanks jishnu for the congrats and i will start by introducing myself sure yeah um, my name is krish bhat and i am currently pursuing my btech in computer science and engineering from okay. vit bellur okay. and i have been placed in genpack as a business analyst okay Okay, that's great. Uh, you can now tell us about the placement process. How many rounds were there, and what? Yeah, so Genpact visited VIT Bellur at the, in second week of October. So first uh, process was same for all like application submission, hmm. and after that uh, they shortlisted the students on the base of resume. Almost eighteen hundred students were shortlisted, hmm. and first round was online assessment. Okay, this online assessment comprises of like. Uh, Three section. One was uh, aptitude, second was technical MCQs, and third was coding. Okay. There were two coding question, uh, easy to medium level, hmm. and we were allotted a time of sixty minutes. Okay. And after this round, one hundred two students got shortlisted for technical interviews. Okay. Uh, we got the results by the day end, and uh, the technical interview was of thirty minutes. Hmm. In technical interview, they first started with introduction, hmm. and they started asking me question from SQL mainly. Okay. They asked me like, what is difference between truncate and drop, hmm. and also they asked like, what is difference between care and where care. Okay. This was from SQL. Hmm. After that, they started asking about what are my main projects and all. Hmm. So basically, I have three projects in my resume. Hmm. So I explained them, hmm. and all interview was. Mostly based on interview and SQL. Okay. Okay. After that round, uh, almost sixteen students students got shortlisted for HR interview. Mm. Uh, the result came at the the end same. Mm. And in HR interview, they started with family background, like why do you choose VIT Bellur as you live in Rajasthan? Right. Right. Some right. basic just. Uh, mm. uh, and after that, out of sixteen students, uh, six students were finally selected for the. Uh, business analyst profile. Okay. It was a full time offer. Okay. Mm. Okay. So after that, you got the list, and that's it, right? Yeah, yeah. Like uh, I, we got the results after two days. Okay. Okay. Ah, uh, they came for two profiles. One was for like artificial intelligence and data science, and this was our profile of business, business. analyst. Okay. And they offered internships for that profile and full time offer for us. Oh, okay, okay. Mm. That's great. Uh, congrats again. Ah, um, uh, thanks. Do you have any suggestions for anything specific to your interview process or anything in general? If you have anything to say, yeah, in general, like if you are a pre-final year student, so just start focusing on DSA and start practicing coding question from lead code. So it will be good. Like uh, they build good concepts, right. and also uh, for interview process, just go through OOPs, mm. SQL, and build your resume perfectly. Like right. add some good projects mm. and all the extra co-curricular activities, whatever you have done. Right. So it will be good for interview interactions. Okay. Okay. That's great. Thank you again for sharing your experience. Uh -huh. And yeah, thank you. Ah, uh, thanks, Vishnu, for inviting me. So thank you everyone for watching this video. Please do like, share, and subscribe to my channel if you found this video helpful. That would really help me out to bring in more people and more interview experiences from different companies. So thank you for watching and do keep supporting me. Thank you.